Hey everybody, I just wanted to send out a quick message to all of my subscribers. And this is actually kind of important, so you might want to pay attention to this one. First off, real quick, I just want to thank you all so much for all of the support that you've given me over the past month. This has really been one of the most magic months of my entire career as a YouTuber. I've never had this much organic channel growth from people that had no idea who I was in this quick of a span of time. So thank you so much. It means a lot to me because you know, it's videos that I really, really care about making. And in the past, I've made a lot of videos that have succeeded that have not been videos that I really cared whether or not they succeeded. But these have been ones that I really care about. And so seeing all the support, it's fulfilling. It's enriching. So sincerely, thank you so much for that. So this video is going to be a bit of a warning for all of you, because if you are not a YouTuber, if you don't make content or even if you are a YouTuber, you might not even know about this. There is this really, really stupid fucking option in the upload details when you go to upload a YouTube video. It's a little checkbox and it says something like push notifications to subscription feed or something like that. And basically what it does is if you have this checkbox filled in, when you post a video, what's going to happen is that video is going to be sent out to your subscribers. That's how YouTube's always worked, right? And that's how you would expect subscriptions to work, right? Wrong. So here's the thing. Yes, that is how it works. But why is it an option? Why would I even, why would I not want to select that option? Why would I not want my subscribers to know about my videos? Well, here's the answer. So I'm a small channel and YouTube is infamous for hating small channels. More specifically, the algorithm is famous for hating small channels. And here's one of the ways that the algorithm fucks over small channels. So if I post a video and I check that little checkbox that says, send this to my subscribers, what happens is it'll get sent to my subscribers, but here's a problem. I don't have a lot of subscribers. I have about 500 right now, and before this month I had like 78. So what'll happen is I send that video out to my subscribers, and maybe like 20% of them watch it, like, within 24 hours of it being posted. So like, totally normal. Fine. Whatever. It's like, maybe everybody doesn't have time, maybe everybody's not going on YouTube, maybe- who fucking cares? It's like, it's fine. It's fine if only 20 even if like 5%. It's fine. It's no big deal. But what the algorithm says is, oh my god, this video was put out to 500 people, which is not even that many people, and then only 5% of 500 cared about it? This video sucks fucking dick! I'm not suggesting this video to anybody! Fuck this video, it sucks! And so what I did was I experimented with this button, and I said, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? My subscribers obviously care about what I'm fucking doing. So I'm just gonna trust them to, like, go to my channel, and I'm gonna see what happens when I don't fill in this checkbox. And the answer is all of the amazing growth that we've had over the past month. So what I've come to realize is that YouTube fucking hates you and it hates me. The people who I most want to see my videos, the people who have subscribed to me, the people who are commenting and liking and, and supporting me are exactly the people that I don't want to tell about my videos because the algorithm will fuck me and the growth of my channel if I do that. So just as a warning, you know, probably until this channel becomes very, very, very large, if that even happens, I'm probably going to continue not checking that checkbox in and actually notifying the people who fucking subscribe to me of my videos. So I wanted to make this video to let you know how you can actually see the videos that I upload without having to fucking scrub my channel every second of every day, which is the way that YouTube apparently expects small channels to operate. So I have a coffee. If you don't know what that is, it's a Patreon alternative, but I'm not about to say the solution is for everybody in the club to give me $20. So if you go to my coffee, which is linked in the description of this video, there is a follow button, and I'm pretty sure you get email notifications, but you might have to make a coffee account and, like, get notifications that way. I can't really remember. And what's great about that is I literally post every single video that I ever put out publicly on my coffee. Whether it's Chill with Charles, Grab Mantha, Super Fun Time Divorce Avoiders, uh, Dr. Kolos, anything that I post is going to go on my coffee. So if you follow it, you will actually get a notification every single time that I post something. You don't have to worry about paying for the $5 membership thing. That is only for people who want to support me financially or who want to see the exclusive content that I post to my coffee. And on top of using my coffee as a way of actually getting notifications for things, here's the thing. I don't use social media. I don't have a Twitter. I don't have an Instagram. I don't have a Facebook. Like, I have these things, but I don't publicly post on them. They're all private, they're all personal, they're all for me. I think actually what I'm going to start doing in the future is I'm going to start using my coffee as my social media for communicating with you guys, my audience. The YouTube community page is cool and all, but I really like the idea of having one central website. You don't have to worry about being fucking subscribed to a million different channels, ringing the fucking bell, getting notifications for everything. You go to my coffee, you just hit follow, you will get notifications for everything that I ever do period. Okay, so that's all. 
I want to extend a very heartfelt uh, fuck you to the YouTube algorithm for fucking small channels. Um, and I want to extend another very heartfelt thank you to all of you for all of your support that you've given me over this past month. I think we have a lot of good times ahead of us. I have so many fun, cool projects planned for the month of April. And I'm telling you right now, like the list of ideas that I have for Chill with Charles has grown to about and I think I might actually have to just like decide on a certain number of subjects to talk about and just make it a finite series because I don't think I'm ever going to run out of things to talk about, but I don't want to make chill with Charles this thing where like I'm just infinitely yammering on about a bunch of fucking shit. I want you guys to be able to take what I've said and like bring it into your own lives. And so I'm just going to make a roadmap for chill with Charles and probably start posting it on a consistent basis so that I can work more on some of these like very long burn projects like what I'm doing right now for the entire month of April. I'm telling you, there's a lot of stuff coming out. I might not, I might not even finish it by the end of April, but I, I will make this promise. Chill with Charles will return after April. What is what month comes at January, February, March, April, May. May. Chill with Charles will come back in May. And uh, it's really hard for me not to produce for Chill with Charles, but I just I have to focus on all of this other stuff because it's so much work. But I'm excited about it and I'm excited about everything that I'm doing. And I am so fucking happy that I have you guys here with me. Thank you for being here with me. Follow me on my coffee. If you're a fucking homie, throw me a subscription. I would really appreciate that because it helps me be able to focus more on doing what I do and not have to focus on fucking money. You know, the whole fucking YouTuber spiel. Make me money. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right. Yap session over. Thank you, guys. I am going to go take my pills because I'm fucking senile and I am suffering from dementia and my dick don't work no more.